Yeah, environment. <laughs> what's wrong with it? friendly as well, right? <laughs> Hi, welcome everyone to our what seven? Seven. It's seven, our seven fa- Facebook Live. Okay. Lucky number seven. Yes, and uh, we're from Eastern Music, and my name is Sangwa, and I'm Anson. Yes, and if you don't know who um, Eastern Music is, uh, we are a shop that sells Chinese musical instruments, and we also do uh, music lessons, and also we do instrument repairs, mm-hmm. and we also uh, do performances. Although uh, performances now are <laughs> zero and zero, all right. Okay, so um, every Friday we'll be doing Facebook Live, and uh, how will the Facebook Live go? Is uh, we will do a bit of chit chatting. We'll talk about some stuff, and after that, um, we will do um, introduction of some uh, products. Mm-hmm. Okay, and at the end we'll have a short performance. Okay, and today's um, the theme for today is well, the theme for today is all about the. Uh, yes, so yes. to have this, you know, Erhu uh, is like, there's always one person that always come to mind when we talk about Erhu uh, on our YouTube channel. Yes, yeah, yes. So would you like, we would have the honour. Yes, we have a very special guest uh, today and uh, it's none other than Ray Jin. Yay! Yay! Yes. Let's welcome Ray Jin. Uh, thank you yes. for having me here. Yes, yes. So this is Ray Jin, okay, you, I'm sure you uh, have seen him in a lot of our videos, uh, EM um, Minute and also, um, what was that? EMTV. EMTV. EM and, Session. And, and yes, yes. So yeah. he's been uh, everywhere, okay. And if you don't know who Ray Jin is, if you are an Erhu player and you always go to YouTube and you try to search for um, Erhu videos, okay, you will see his channel, okay. Yeah. His channel has the most Erhu um, solo and what duet, like especially Yu yeah. Hongwei. <laughs> he's, <laughs> a big, he's a big fan of Yu Hongwei. Yeah. So he 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 will curate. He will find videos and he will curate those good videos and he will post them on uh, Facebook. Mm. Uh. So uh, would you would you like to tell us a little bit more about your channel? Yeah, or? your channel. Well, actually, I would say that this channel it just started out as something. It's, I actually started it for, for fun. Mm. Like, I think I was in around like secondary school or JC. And How many years ago was that? Uh, like, 15 or 9? Nine, uh, 9 years ago, maybe around there. 15? <laughs> <laughs> you mean when he was 15, not 15? <laughs> yeah, yeah and, uh, and I was just like, hey, like, so there were already other channels, of mm-hmm. course, on YouTube that are like um, broadcasting really great Oho videos. Your competitors? <laughs> no, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, all one big family. <laughs> or, no. But I was like, I was like, I actually chanced upon a video on like the China website and it was Yu Hongmei's Summon Xia, I think. Uh-huh. And I was like, hey, this video isn't on YouTube, so why not just upload it? Yeah, so it? how do you usually get your content? Um, I actually, so I'll, okay, the first thing I'll do is I will check through YouTube to see what videos are there at the moment because I don't really like to upload repeat videos. Like if mm-hmm. I upload a certain video and someone else has it on YouTube, I think there's no point, yep. mm-hmm. right? And the point is to provide more variety. So once I have uh, a certain like, once I know what, what's out there, I'll go on, let's say, um, China streaming sites like Youku or mm. Bilibili. But wouldn't the streaming be really slow here? Um, it's, it's okay. La. So mm. I'll, I'll find like a suitable downloader to download the videos mm, mm, or okay. I'll get like DVDs and stuff. Ah. Like DVDs, like sometimes when I go to China or if I go online, like mm. online shopping and like, hey, this looks cool. I'll okay. just download and upload. Because I think, mm, if not, there's not really a lot of people doing this nowadays. Mm. Yeah, well, your channel sort of blew up. So a lot yeah, of I think your, your yeah. channel is the most uh, comprehensive of uh, solo <laughs> videos, right? Yeah, I, I started watching that channel without knowing Regin at first. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> I, even after knowing him, I still didn't know it was his channel. <laughs> Until one day the channel changed to his name. I was like, oh, oh my, it's your channel. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so if you're interested, uh, mm-hmm. his, his channel is uh, Ng Regin. N G R U I J U N. N G space R U I space J U N. That's basically his name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So on the next, um, recently, uh, what mm-hmm. are the recent happenings? I think. Yeah. So, uh, as you all know, that uh, we teach music, right? So, uh, the biggest news right now is that CCA got cancelled for the next two weeks because of uh, 
like COVID nineteen. Mm, mm. I wouldn't say fear, but like there are new cases yeah, of no yeah. COVID nineteen. Mm. And I think because uh, because of the March holidays. Uh, yeah, everyone's coming yeah, back. Yeah, I think it's good. Also, like everyone's safe. Yeah, they keep everyone safe, but then again, instructors are like sort of oh, <laughs> out of a <eight> job. <laughs> yeah, but but what do you think you can use like during this free time now that you're not teaching? Like, what do you think instructors can use this time to do? Well, I would say I would say um, I'm not in a very qualified position to say this because after all, I'm not a pure freelancer. You know, mm. I have my own job with a stable income, and I think that this situation is. Um, Really, um, hurting freelancers a lot, lah. Mm. No, no. So, what I would say is, it sounds very cliche, but continue to improve yourself or continue to increase exposure of yourself, even be it online or yeah. Whatever. Because uh, it just so happened that uh, we have a friend a good, who teaches Kuchung. Then you know, this period she has nothing to do, so she asked me, "Oh, do you know anyone that teaches composing or arrangement?" Yeah, so I think then she said because she has a lot of time to do this sort of thing. <laughs> so I think it's good because like uh, you increase your skill and then you can bring it back to your CCA. Right. Yeah. I think the most important thing is that we don't remain stagnant. Mm-hmm. 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 Speaking of remain stagnant, so I mean it's a bit weird to cross like that. But Esplanade also cancelled a lot of their shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, I was supposed to perform one in May for one of the beautiful oh. Sundays. Yeah, so we were just informed that they're going to cancel it, but instead they're going to change it into a streaming uh, concert as well. Okay. So yeah, so for as many beautiful, con- uh, beautiful Sunday fans, beautiful concert, beautiful concert <laughs> what is a beautiful concert hall? <laughs> yeah, so beautiful Sunday concerts, right, they will uh, they'll do a taping of it and then you can watch it on their Facebook page. Huh? So is it a, is it a live? Or just tape it and they they will just. Uh, well, I'm waiting for more updates. <laughs> yeah, but that's the latest announcement. Yeah. CCA got closed. Uh, got shut down for two weeks, yeah. and Esme also cancelling their concert. I think, but this is all just to keep everyone safe, uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and among other news, uh, SYF got cancelled also, uh, Don't so you mean postponed? Uh, postponed. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Everybody is afraid. Yeah, because actually SYF. during SARS they had this. Uh, Incident as well. So, if for our overseas uh, viewers, SYF is known as Singapore Youth Festival. So they have it every year. But for primary school, it's like uh, it will be staggered like Primary school, then secondary school, then primary school. So it's like two years each, right? So uh, the last time this happened was during SARS back in two thousand and three, three, two thousand and three, before mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So it con- postponed to May. Mm-hmm. So with f- fingers crossed. So do you have any latest news on when it's gonna postpone to? No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, so yeah, watch yeah. this space or mm. yeah, that's why <laughs> right, website. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of website, our viewers has also been asking some questions. So this question was actually the first ever question that popped up when we started doing this regularly. Is that uh it's uh, posted by someone called Weiling. Hi Weiling. So <laughs> <laughs> Weiling asked that uh can you do a comparison of the synthetic skin erhu and the real python skin erhu? Mm. So that is why we have reached in here today to talk to you more in depth and do a comparison of this erhu. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if you, if you do not know um, actually I did a video um, EMTV a few years ago on the comparison of uh, the snake skin and the, the synthetic skin uh. yeah. so I think it's uh, time for an update yes an update <laughs> okay so um, maybe you can pass the uh, one of the synthetic herbs here okay here you go okay so if you don't know what is uh, synthetic who okay okay rewind a little bit uh, snake skin Oh, who's are uh, mainly made of snake skin. Okay, Python? Made of Python skin. Yes. Yes. So um, <laughs> some of them, uh, some some of the manufacturers, they um, instead of using a Python skin, they use um, synthetic skin, and this is like a PVC material. Mm. Okay, so it's a bit more environmentally conscious. Uh, so, which which one do you think of uh, synthetic skin? <coughs> yeah. Now that's it. Do you have like a peeve, pet peeve. <laughs> um, I'll say the first thing is it's definitely much cheaper than your average round of the mill. You know, mm. it's all about the base cost. If you're to get like Python skin. Right, that's going to cost like there, there's a lot of um, middleman costs involved. But p- basically, PVC is a really cheap material, and once you stretch it out, I would say it's generally quite stable. Oh, you still have to stretch it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So yes. it's because you need a certain amount of tension on it. Oh, okay, right? okay, okay, okay. So you have to stretch it out. So you, I would say that this synthetic skin hoods are generally quite stable in terms of um when it comes in contact with 
uh, different temperatures like you know humidity yes humidity even sometimes mm. the biggest pet peeve we have about our Uhu is we walk into a we walk into another like a concert hall for instance and hey the sound of my Uhu has changed so much it's not what I know mm. I guess PVC problems uh, PVC always actually get around that problem mm. and one great thing if you are if you tour, if you tour mm. internationally, or you just like to just want to bring your Uhu around, right? Mm. You don't actually need to apply for a scientist, right? So, yeah, yeah. So um, I mean, if you um own an Uhu, or if you are in overseas and you have bought Uhus from us we, before, you know that if we want to send a uh, Python skin Uhu, we'll need to apply for this license, uh, mm. called uh, C C I T E S, uh. mm. Yeah. Yeah, basically it's like a certificate for your snake skin thing. Yeah, you know the where the origin is. is it? Yeah. Yeah. That, that it is legal. Uh. Yeah, legal. Yeah. So yeah. it's sell legal <laughs> snake skin over. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so with this, uh, there's no such problem. You know, you can just take it anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because it is not made of any animal parts. Right. Yeah, and of course, um, those people who are environmental conscious, uh, mm -hmm. who are vegans, who are scared of snakes, uh, right? Or, yeah, or just a general really fear of the. The yes, snake skin yes. is yeah, just the texture or whatever. Yeah, this, this right. will be good good for them. Yeah, yeah so yeah. do you wanna let's hear how it sounds like? Yeah, I mean a thousand dollar question is always uh, <laughs> whether But how, it's not a thousand dollar, right? <laughs> the million dollar question. Ah, how does yeah. the snake skin compare to uh, the synthetic skin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so let's have our region play. Okay, we want to do a comparison here today and uh, what we, we what we have prepared is actually four uh boost. Okay, um, the first one is a rosewood uh, synthetic skin of wood, and we'll compare it with a comparable um, a quality snake skin of wood, which is also made of rosewood. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? Do you like it? I mean, yeah. Uh, let's compare to another one. Like I mean, a, we, uh, from, from a from a not from yeah. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't. I would think that it's something wrong with your Uhu. <laughs> yeah, it's too muffled. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think it it sounds a bit uh, thin as well. It sounds very yeah. Cantonese. And actually, oh, yes. uh, it, it feels like yes. when you when you uh, exert a bit of a strength, uh, it's on a point of uh, breaking. Yeah, especially since I'm a very violent player <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah, it yes, actually yes. does like that. It doesn't. There's no sense of weight behind mm. it. You know, it's like when you bite into a marshmallow versus when you bite into an apple. I guess mm. that's where the difference may lie. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah. Why not we uh, listen oh. to the rosewood? Oh, rosewood. Okay. Okay. So if you don't know. Um, this is a snakeskin erhu, uh, and this is a rosewood erhu, uh, and this is one of our uh, best-selling erhus. Uh, okay, it's a Shanghai rosewood erhu. Uh, yeah, it's real pretty, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sound much better. Yeah. Much it, realistic. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to have more character. Definitely. Mm. More colour. Yeah. Mm. More mm. colour, more yeah. depth. There's a punch. There's a bit more punch behind it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something that we're more I'm more used to hearing from an uh, on an Right. Mm. Okay. So I mean without listening to this, you would think that okay, this Erhu this sounds like an Erhu as well. Sounds like an Erhu, yeah. but I I wouldn't immediately like oh Sounds like a normal. Mm, right. Like like I will still take a look at that. Oh, there must be something different about this herb. Right. Yeah. To to have that very distinct sound. So. Do you think it looks very different? No. The the pattern. Uh, of course, synthetic. <laughs> so <laughs> they'll, they'll try to make it as close as possible from like from afar. It's like oh, huh? <laughs> that sort of thing lah. It looks like a ting who's. Oh, yeah, 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 it looks like a snake skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a thing who's snake skin. In our skin. store, we yeah. actually have another synthetic skin mm -hmm. that's made right. up of uh, black sandal wood. Yeah, black sandal wood. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. So black sandal is a better wood, and uh, um, the quality is better. It's supposed to sound better than the rosewood. Oh, uh, no, this looks slightly different. Yeah, the yeah. skin is. Skin looks um, 
slightly different. It looks of a different kind of PVC. Maybe it's just this is a late, more latest yeah, correct. design. Maybe yeah. Correct. Ah okay. So we are getting somewhere here. Okay. Yeah. to the rosewood uh, uh, synthetic uh, wood. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it has more presence, but it still has that hollowness that oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, a bit a bit cold, uh, Yeah. Hollow. Yeah. So this uh we can compare it together with another black sandal wood a uh, mm. Yeah. So let's let Richie play first and then I think to even make let it sound like uh, compare even better, right? We can have Mr Tan oh. ah, to yes. play together. Play yeah. together. Why should we play? Together? Yeah, let him uh, play this okay. first on its own, then you combine right. so you can hear the difference also. Stand out on its own, especially when you joined in. Right. Yeah, then you can really tell the difference already. It has right. a sweeter tone as well. Mm. Yes, yes. yes. Right. This, More this, real. The tone of this is a little bit flat. Mm. What do you think of the handling of it, though? Um, the the left hand is fine. Uh. The right hand, when you play, it's it's like it doesn't catches the string. Uh, it's just like when you when it doesn't you, respond. When you when you use a lot of strength, uh, uh, it, you can feel that it is not. So, it's uh, not handling. Yeah, it doesn't the weight. Right. Ah. But at the same time, if you were to play too softly, there's no body behind the sound. So mm. I guess there's a bit of a lack of a dynamic break. Yeah, I think very too soft. Okay, so uh, let's talk a bit about the pricing of the instrument. Of, um, yeah, so for the synthetic uh, rosewood we have here is actually selling for just two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So it's uh it's cheap, but it also actually sounds not bad, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a yeah. decent uh, for mm -hmm. you to to own um, right. and to carry around. Mm -hmm. And then for the synthetic, no, uh, oh sorry, the uh, and the rosewood. That we just compared to it as well is actually two hundred and fifty by Shanghai Dun Huang. Slightly mm -hmm. more expensive, but uh, the tone is pretty good. Mm -hmm. in then the next one is the black sandalwood synthetic skin erhu. It's going at three eighty. Three hundred and eighty, and then finally we have the black sandalwood uh, by Yu Kai Ming for selling at four hundred and fifty. Also a really popular model. Mm -hmm. But having that say, right, saying like oh the Shanghai one is popular, but there's still a reason why people would get the synthetic mm -hmm. So yeah, so uh you have yeah. any final thoughts about it? Yeah, I mean um we know that uh the Xiang Gang Tong Yeah, yeah. Hong, so Hong Kong Chinese Orchestra uh, who they pride themselves in using all synthetic uh, who. Yeah. Early skin. Yeah, okay. that's right. Including Even their girl who also, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. So is there a reason behind that? Well, I guess they really wanted to um, firstly standardize their sound. Mm. Like the, I guess the problem the problem we face when we use snake skin mm -hmm. is that you know, because it's natural material, you can't really do any sort of like quality control or any sort of like and yeah, the snake is born that way, that's it. Yeah, your bond is born this way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I guess it will actually take quite a quite an amount of effort, even mm. if let's say they um custom make everything from one maker. Mm. It's going to it's going to sound yeah, different. So even like for example, Hohan Ro has a bunch of Erhu from the same wood. Right. It will still sound mm. different because yes. Erhu is just too distinct and individualist. Correct. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you compound that problem in the sense that they need to standardize their sound. They mm. want to standardize their sound. Oh, Gao Hu, Zhong Hu. Plus, it's <laughs> more even <laughs> <laughs> environmentally <laughs> friendly as well, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, just now when we were playing the two Erhus, uh, yeah. you can yeah. only hear that it, it sort of clashes. It, it clashes really, so much. It doesn't really blend. Uh, right. So, yeah, that's, that's a problem we're facing in uh, orchestras. Uh, so. Yeah, but I still think, like, a, a on a final note, like, getting a synthetic skin Erhu, right, mm. is mainly because uh, it's more eco-friendly, mm. and uh, if you're buying overseas or you're bringing it overseas, there's yeah. no problem in getting a scientist yeah. done for mm. the snake skin itself. And I think the temperature change. Yeah, yeah. Very so it, right? it, there's a sense sense of like things are more constant right yeah it's like easy easier to control especially uh. since we ship to like customers from all over the world mm. right? so uh. the sound has to remain yeah that's right good. yes yes all right so that's the end of the second part <laughs> yes and the uh, final part will be a performance and uh, today we're of course reaching is here we cannot let him go without him playing something. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> what will you be playing for us? Well, I guess I'll be playing a short piece by everyone, Xiao Hua Ku. You know, short and sweet, but very lively also. Okay, oh, what's okay. the title again? Xiao Hua Ku, Little Flower Drum. Ah, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Little Flower Drum by Eng Rui Jin. Yes, so little flower drum Xiao Hua Gu. So since that's the flower Hua mm. in the uh, in the title, uh -huh. and <laughs> and because there's an upcoming movie that got delayed, and we're all really bummed out about it. So to cheer everyone up, we're gonna have a very special performance brought to you by Rui Jin and Song Hua on the guitar as they bring to you a song from the Mulan movie Reflection. Thank you. 
and I and I know that actually you guys just prepared it like half an hour before we actually shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. So a really good job on both of you. <laughs> Thank, yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So uh, this is also a dedication to everyone who's actually stuck at home during yeah. this period in COVID nineteen. Yeah. So do stay safe, and also if you have the free time, practice more, <laughs> or watch our videos, watch more of our contents on YouTube, Facebook, as well as Instagram. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, do leave uh, at the comment section below. And uh, if there's anything that you would like to um, hear us talk about mm -hmm. or any products you would like to see, mm -hmm. yeah, just let us know. If not, um, yes, that's the end and we'll see you <laughs> Yeah, next don't forget week. to like, subscribe and follow us on all our social platforms. And once again, we would like to have a special thanks to Richin oh, for showing up you. on our story. Yay! Yes, and yes, thank yes, you, yes. Reeling. Say hi, Reeling. Hi, Reeling. Hi. 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 Alright, okay. so we'll see you in the next, uh, next live session every Friday at 5pm. Bye-bye!